FFRF halts public school coach from organizing public prayer. Last May, the Freedom From Religion Foundation sent a letter to the North Branch Area School Superintendent Thomas English informing him that North Branch High softball coach Willie Dashetsky was leading his team in prayer, including pictures of him prayerfully holding hands with the team. In the letter, FFRF staff member Rebecca Merkett wrote, It is illegal for public school athletic coaches to lead their team in prayer. Public school coaches must refrain not only from leading their students in prayers, but also from participating in the prayers themselves. It is unconstitutional for public school employees to participate in the religious activities of their students. The foundation received a response from the North Branch Athletic Director James Fish a few weeks ago stating that Coach Willie Dashesky has officially been informed that he cannot organize, advocate, or lead the softball team in prayer. FFRF <laughs> co-president Dan Barker praised the school district's decision saying public schools must protect their students from being pressured to pray and coaches need to know that they cannot expect student athletes to pray to play. A hairy struggle. The U.S. military faces a legal struggle that has grown quite hairy, literally. The case under consideration has landmark potential, according to Eric Baxter, senior counsel at the Beckett Fund for Religious Liberty, representing a Sikh army captain by the name of Semirtapal Singh in a controversy over hairstyles and the boundaries of religious liberty. His counsel, Baxter, remarks that getting court order against the army is huge. It's almost never happened. A recently filed federal lawsuit addresses the issue of the Army's stringent grooming standards and how these standards intersect with religious liberty. The Sikhs worship a sole formless lord as a supreme being according to the writings of high-ranking gurus. Among the prohibitions of that faith, there is a vow to never remove hair from any part of one's body as a part of an act of acceptance towards God's will. Captain Singh risked displeasure of his deity upon his entry to West Point in 2006. At that time, he applied for an exemption for his religiously mandated beard, but did not receive one. He shaved at this time, but later decided to campaign for a permanent exemption. Captain Singh is a Bronze Star recipient and risked his life removing roadside bombs in Afghanistan. I'm proud to fight for my country, which includes fighting to protect others' religious beliefs, Singh said, after receiving a temporary accommodation. So far, 100 members of Congress have supported permanent accommodations for Sikh grooming habits, but the U.S. Army is slow to change, despite having granted such exemptions for Sikhs in non-combat positions. A Papal Rejection We would have wanted to talk to him about our story, complained David Ridsdale, a childhood victim of the Catholic Church's most pervasive scandal in centuries. Speculation is inevitable concerning why Pope Francis appears to have denied a meeting with a group of 15 Australian abuse survivors. The current treasurer of the Vatican, Cardinal George Pell, was visiting Australia to submit evidence as part of the ongoing investigation of the child sexual abuse scandal as experienced down under. George Pell was a bishop in Australia between the 1970s and 80s. Now he gives testimony via video link to a government commission. But the survivors were truly interested in presenting their story to Pope Francis. For these victims, the official Vatican response that they did not go through the proper channels to secure a meeting with the Pope rings hollow. We made every effort to go through every channel we possibly could, insists Ridsdale. The survivors presented fax documents to numbers provided by Pell's office and copies of the exchanges over the possibility of meeting with the Pope in the hopes that he could have assisted us by vocalizing his support and acknowledging the mistakes of the past. No such recognition is forthcoming despite the paper trail brandished by the abuse victims as a Vatican spokesman maintains that no request for a meeting came through the proper channels. <laughs>